Hey, what's going on everyone? Back with a video. This is somewhat of a um, two-parter. Um, right now I'm showing you the Dell Perk 5i RAID card. Got it off eBay. Um, really good deal on eBay. So, this is the card itself. It has a 256 meg uh, memory. As you can see right there. Focus that in there. It's a 256 meg RAM. Uh, comes with a battery right here. And um, I believe it's a PCI Express um, X4 or X8. Don't, re don't remember, but anyway. Um, comes with the cables but I had to buy additional cables um, it supports up to eight um, drives let me try to show you ah. trying to record and show you at the same time anyway um, can't really flip it over but these guys I had to buy um, separate because the cables it came with um, won't plug into SATA drives. So these guys are called um, SFF8084 uh, I believe to SATA. So this end is the 8084 and it comes out to four SATA cables. And they are plugged into um, four one terabyte drives right there and this is inside the um, Rosewill um, 4500 server chassis so it's 15 bay so I could put in um, up to 15 three and a half inch drives right now I have the four um, one terabyte and my OS drive is an SSD drive I think it's a SanDisk 128 gig um, running Windows uh, Server 2012 on it and let's see what else do I have um, that's a really cheap motherboard it's um, ECS uh, H61 is it H61 H2M2V1 it's really cheap um, it will be replaced soon with a super micro board but I just wanted to um, play with it and uh, get the feel of it has a um, cooler master uh, 450 watt power supply and it has an Intel G620 processor um, don't need anything big it's just a, a backup server to back up my storage server uh, right now I have the four uh, one terabytes uh, running off the RAID card in a RAID 0 um, just wanted to get some benchmarks on it um, but once uh, I get a, every part all the parts I plan to use I'll probably run um, a RAID 5 off the RAID card maybe not maybe a RAID 0 just to maximize the um, the storage I, I don't know I'm not sure yet but again this is just a backup of my storage server which is running a RAID 6 so redundancy for me on this server isn't really that important because most of the redundancy is happening on my main storage server um weird thing with this board as you can see this has two ram slots um these are uh two times two gigs so a total of four gigs but whenever i use this uh, RAID card, the Dell Perk 5i. Um, as you can see, this board only has a 16x or x16 PCI Express and then two um, 1x or x1, whatever. Um, I'd have to use this, and this is primarily for um, video cards. This slot right here, um, but that's where the P the Perk 5i RAID card has to sit. Um, whenever I I, I I have it installed this slot right here away from the uh, CPU doesn't work so the system only reads two gigs 
I've, I've already tested it I swapped out RAM I plugged in one and I plugged in the other I tried different RAM um, and it, it is it is that slot but when I take the card off it works so I'm not too sure what it could be it could be a conflict with I don't know something it has to be a conflict I mean because it works without the card in there um, I don't really want to get into it or try to even figure it out because again I'm going to be buying another motherboard uh, a super micro motherboard um, that's uh, for, for uh, servers anyway um, so yeah when I said it was a two-in-one video I just wanted to show you the, the Dell Perk 5i and this um, Rosewill server chassis it's the 4500 um, so the front of the server looks like this has three fans in there um, this one is where my four drives are this fans plugged in um, this opens and closes with the key uh, power button and some USB ports are over here it's somewhat useless this uh, cover because you could open up the top um, there's no like locking mechanism or anything but whatever um, there's two more fans they're not plugged in right now because um, I don't have any drives on there let's see there is also a set of fans in the middle where um, uh, my mind's going blank uh, wow okay my mind went blank um, but anyway this is where the middle the middle uh, fans are um, I don't have any of them plugged in simply because I only have four drives in there um, and then there's two more fans right over there um, by the power supply so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the um, RAID card and we're gonna fire it up and let you hear how loud or not loud the server is so maybe I'm going to turn you off for now and we'll be back because I can't do this with one hand okay so now I got it installed and that's where it sits it's a little wobbly again this uh, board isn't really like a server board but um, yeah so my mind went blank earlier what I was trying to say is there are fans here where the backplane should be on some of the server chassis models but instead of the backplane you get additional fans um, so far it seems like I don't need it um, the airflow is quite good on the chassis um, I haven't ran temps but um, just I don't know uh, I've been around a couple of servers well actually I have two of them here at home um, and I'm just comparing between the two so it doesn't seem to give out that much heat um, but I only have four hard drives so far right now in that raid card the raid card does get hot quite a bit um, so once I add more drives um, I will be um, plugging those suckers in so we're gonna go ahead and fire it up um, and give you a little uh, uh, demo on how loud the case could be or would be um, and let's see power button is here I'm gonna put the microphone close to the server and get you a better idea. And I'll shut up now.
So those are up close. Um, I'm gonna move the microphone about what is this? 24 inches away, a foot away, or two feet away. Um, it's not. It's not too, too loud. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed um, by how much sound I hear. I um, mean, this is without the top on. So, there you go, hopefully uh, you get some ideas off this video or what nuts wanted to share, um, hopefully you enjoyed it, um, server build is still in progress, uh, keep you guys updated, um, just waiting on a good deal on that super micro board. Um, and hopefully that G620 will work. Um, I've read some stuff online. Uh, people have gotten it to work with the G620. Others have used the i3 2100 or the E3s. I can't afford the E3 right now, but this is just for fun and for home use, so not, not too crazy. Um, by the way, I have the battery of the Ray down here. Uh, I'll probably get some electrical tape or something just to keep it still but for now um, it's just gonna sit there I have another set of cables uh, SFF uh, 8084 to SATA um, that'll sit right here so I could plug in four more drives and that's really about it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe Check out my blog. Yada, 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 the usual. Alright, guys, take care.